Have you ever experienced that you try to desperately explain something to someone and the person simply doesn't get it? It was like a talking to a brick wall. You tried to explain something to someone and the person didn't understand. Please stand up if you have situation in your life like this. You try to explain something to someone and the person didn't understand. At least once in your life, you tried, but you failed. Thank you, please keep standing, keep standing, keep standing. In the Czech Republic, we say, always when you come to your office, you meet at least one idiot. <laughs> Just be aware. If there are more idiots in your room, then maybe you are the one. And maybe people, not the people around us, are the stupid ones. Maybe we just don't know how to explain stuff properly. So maybe it's just like this. Now please sit down. I see here one lady, she still was sitting all the time. I have to talk to you after a while. Two years ago, my best came to me and he told me, Petra, I like your enthusiasm, I like your energy, I want you to lead a team. Bunch of guys, just be aware they have some communication problem, but I want you to make a team from them. And this is how I pictured our team. You will reach big goals, big visions, we will change the future forever. This is how it ended up or this is how I ended up. Crying test manager in the toilet. I wasn't really proud on this because after our first stand up, one guy told me it's not friendly environment anymore. Other guy told me why I didn't send everything just via email. Why we had to have a meeting. He was shouting and after five minutes, he just left the room. And the last guy was sitting silently in the corner and he didn't say a word. All stand up long. But I'm not a quitter. I said, no, I will not quit. And I started to Google. Amazing tool. If you haven't ever tried it, try it. Just... There is one tricky part on Google. Once you start to Google, you got completely overwhelmed by information. There are to so many people interested in a topic of communication and typology and um, how to approach people, etc., etc., etc. And it was just too much for me. I just wanted something simple which would work with my team and which would be effective. And after that, one friend came to me and he said, Petra, you are completely yellow. And I said, give me a break. And I said, no, no, no. Uh, last weekend, I was in the workshops called Insights Discovery. Do you know the guy Carlos Jung? And I was like, yeah, I know this guy. It was Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalogist, pretty smart, who were deeply into this topic. And this workshop, Insights Discovery, is based on this guy. Here you can see as well two very smart sentences he said. Maybe you will think as I was thinking, okay, this guy died in 1961. It's 60 years ago. How this can be applied to nowadays society? It can. And I don't like to have information based only on theories, so I went to this workshop as well. I attended and I love it. And after that, I applied this, what I learned there, for one year to these guys, and actually at the very end, we were a team. And we were going outside, we were grabbing a beer, and we were a very effective a team. I'm not saying this, I was trying to apply there in praxis for one year and after that I managed it. After that actually I quit the project, but this is a different story. But I know we don't have one, uh, one year here. We have here just my time limited for this speech. But I promise to you that after this speech you will know answer to these questions. Now please read it and once you are ready, just not like this.
Are you nodding? I cannot see you really your faces, but I hope. I'm always in every country, every city, when I present this topic, I'm always surprised how long does it take to read few questions. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, saying this is better than nodding. Great. Agenda. At the beginning, you will get to know your color. After that, we will invite all these colors to a meeting. And at the very end, there is case study one and two. My speeches are well known by the fact that I am a very lazy speaker, <laughs> which means that you my dear friends, will work a lot. At the very, very end, there is very cool call to action, colorful call to action. Now, please, lights on. I hope this sign will work. Yes, great. If you have a paper and pencil, good for you. If you don't have, good for your brain. Now, please take it and make a line. Yes, I want you to work right now. Make a line and put there introvert and extrovert. And put there a spot. Come on, people. Live here a little bit. And put there a spot. How do you feel you think? More extroverted or more introverted? There were a lot of said about introverts and extroverts. Uh, basically said introverts gain energy from being alone from reading a, big, a good book, and they like to spend energy on the thinking of new ideas and processes. Extroverts, they, like, they gain energy by this, by, by people, by networking, by meeting new people, and they like to spend energy on doing things, and after that, thinking about them. Good? Just say yes. Yes. How can I say in Polish, yes? Tak, tak, just say tak when you are ready. And another task will come. I will give you 20 seconds and write how many words will cross your mind when I say a word snowman. Write so many words cross your mind when I say snowman, now. Great, what do you have? Shout on me. Snow. Balls. Yes, carrot. Yes. Great, 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 great. Why we did this, thinking and uh, feeling. If you have something like objectives, like balls, snow, carrot, a pot, then you are probably more thinker. If you have something like a stories, like fun, children, mm, a cold, maybe sunset behind the snow, snowman, then you are more feeler. Basically said thinkers see the word black and white. They are really good in separating people and tasks. They make decisions based on facts. Feelers are more involved personally in making decisions. They think, okay, hmm, maybe he doesn't feel right. So, you know, this feels good. This decision feels good. Make there a spot again. Connect these two spots. And ta-da! This is your color. This is your color. This is your color based on some areas like extroversy, introversy, thinking and feeling. Right now, let's focus on how maybe you perceive yourself or how others perceive you. Again, paper and pencils needed. Write 10 adjectives from this list which you think they describe you. Write they down, write them down. And when you are ready, say tak.
ten. Ten of them from this list. Tak. Tak. <laughs> tak, tak. Anyone tak? <laughs> tak, 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 tak. Great. Shup. Count colors, which you have by these ten adjectives. And again, say tak when you are ready. Wow, so, so fast. Tak, great. Tak, thank you. Dziękuję. What about the last rows? Is there any tak? <laughs> tak. Great. So we can continue. Right now, you know um, your color. It can be that you have one color, the main major color, or you can have two colors. The fact about these four colors is that we have all of them in ourselves. We have blue, red, yellow, and green. Two of them are major. I'm yellow and green, for example. Two of them are minor. But what is amazing on these four colors is that, for example, I am a yellow and I meet a green person. And after that, when I meet a green person, I push this green and I speak in the way of green understands. And this is what I will show you right now. There is nothing like a bad or good color. Detailed blue, introverted thinkers. They're really good in analytics. They are really good in numbers. They have an amazing eye for the detail. They always ask questions which wouldn't ever cross your mind. They are always somewhere in the corner of the office working with the music. And they are really good in uh, writing, in documents. They like formal, formal things. They, their motto is, let's do it correct. Red ones, extroverted thinkers. They are really good in leading team, following some very good instructions. They are goal-oriented, tasks-oriented. They have a challenge and they will achieve this challenge no matter what. They are really good in um, separating tasks and people. Harmony Green. You can see this color, uh, you can see these people in the office, they have on the desktop flowers and pictures of their family. They like to have everything calmed down, relaxed, friendly environment. They need their time to make some tasks happen. They are introverted feelers. And yellow ones, shiny yellow, they are extroverted feelers. This is when I just jump in my office and say, hello, good morning, guys. Just a lovely rainy Monday, right? And they are like, she's here again. God. <laughs> Yellow ones are creative. They are sociable. They, they like uh, finding new visions, finding new ways. They are like creators of new ideas. So this is how basically these four colors behave in a good mood. Blue ones, let's do it correct. The red ones, let's do it right now. Green ones, let's do it relaxing. And the yellow ones, let's do it correctly. But we all know that we have as well some bad days, right? The blue ones sitting in the corner and they say this here, this detail here is the most important stuff in this project. If we don't solve it, we will not deliver a product. This detail here. And they stop to talk. And you actually don't know if the detail is really important or not. 
they start to be stuffy and they are still really start to be stuck in one minor stuff. Red ones, this is where micromanagers are born. They love control and they hate when they lose control. Actually, one of my friend uh, who had a boss and he wanted him to report twice a day how many test cases he executed that day. Crazy, crazy guy. But after that, he was okay. And they are really good, uh, they are really aggressive. They can shout on you. But they don't take it personally, don't take it personally. It's just their way of communicating their opinion. Green ones, crying in the toilet. Because they failed, they didn't make it happen, they didn't help their team, so they are crying in the toilet. And they can be really stubborn as well, they just stop to talk to you because they don't feel comfortable. Yellow ones, um, you should have seen it before the speech, over there we are chaotic. Chaotic this or this or this. And as well we are used to take things personally. So you don't make these test cases, you don't like me or what? As well, when I was coming here to Poland, I was heading to airport and my boss just came, uh, just called me and said, you are not going to stand up today. I was like, no, I'm going to Poland to make a speech. I'm like, I don't care about reasons. You don't like us or what? I was like, aha, uh -huh, yellow is here. Right now, take your mobile phones and make a picture of that, please. And as well, I forgot to say the sign, lights off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can say tuck again. I just like how it sounds when you say tuck, it's nice. Great, thank you. Tuck, tuck. Have you can say no? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Tuck is better. Stay by duck. This is what I really like. How do colors behave when they wait for an elevator? What do you think? The blue ones, shout on me, even if you are right now sitting in the dark. <laughs> blue ones, what do you think blue ones do when they are waiting for an elevator? Counting seconds, Counting seconds can be. Just waiting. Just waiting. They are better counting how many people are in the elevator. If they think there are too many people, they will like called, say, you and you get out, otherwise we cannot go up. Red ones, what do you think? Exactly, they are like <laughs> because they are going to a meeting. Meeting starts in one minute. Green ones, shout. Yes, 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 exactly. They are holding the door and say, yes, everyone, it's fine. If, if, if it's fine if I have to go by stairs, everyone in. And the yellow ones, <laughs> they are, you know what they, they hold the door in every floor and say, yes, we will, we will just finish the discussion later on, I will grab a coffee with you. In every floor they stop the elevator to finish the discussion. So how to communicate with them, it was really nice, the description was so, how to communicate with them, with blue ones. I always um, made a face-to-face -face meeting with, with Dushan with the blue color. For half an hour, I sent everything via email in advance, all information, what we will discuss, and so on. After that, I was uh, sitting there patiently, answering all questions. He asked a lot, a lot of questions. And then we move on. I never ever touch him. <laughs> <laughs> and I never was too emotional with him. With red ones, 20 minutes, very good 20 minutes. I have a challenge for you. I will give you the best team and you are the only one who can achieve it. Red ones love challenges, so I have to always challenge him sometimes. And make a very, very quickly decisions. Green ones, nodding doesn't mean that they are agree with you. It just means they listen to you. It was good 45 minutes. We just had the coffee and I was asking very politely, 
how does he feel in the team, how is environment, what about relationships between him and the other team members, if is everything okay. You always have to calm down these people. This is with green ones. With yellow ones, one hour lunch, how was vacation, was it good, yeah, I was by sea, I was by mountains, and was it nice, and blah, 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 blah. And then I have a challenge for you. And do you know what? I will not give you any instruction. You have space to solve it just as you wish. And I got him. What stressed them then? Again, shout on me. There are some hints about blue ones. What do you think can stress blue people? <laughs> blue are stressed by people. <laughs> it makes kind of sense. S excuse me? Arguing. Hmm, they, they like arguing, but they, ju they just uh, base everything on facts, on numbers. Yes, 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 nice. Anything else? Uh-huh. Chaos, yeah? Maybe someone from the last rows. Forcing discussion. Mm, they like discussion if you base it on the facts again. They, they don't like generally like this, this vague discussion. Chit-chats in the kitchen, how was the vacation and how is the weather? You will never ever meet these people in the kitchen. They love graphics, they love Excel. I hate Excel, they love it. But you have to have on this Excel important information only. If it's too chaotic, they will hate it for you. They will hate you for that. And this pick, you know, for me, it's product. Your quality is fine. For them, they will kill myself for that. So how to get out them, how to get them out from the stressful situation. They are introverts. So be sure if they stop to talk to you, they have some problem. So simply encourage them to talk a little bit. And as well, just be patient with them, ask questions and answer the questions. With red ones, what do you think? They hate... Uh if they lose control, and they hate if you do decision too slowly, if it takes too slowly for you to make decision. And as well, if the committee makes decision instead of them. How to calm them down? Simply take decision quickly as possible, or take them to make decision, or call a timeout. Timeout, after that we will get back to the topic. Green ones. They hate when priorities change. They hate when they are pushed by deadlines. They hate when you are, when you are in the open office and someone always coming to them and distract them. They hate it. How to calm them down? Have a face-to-face -face meeting with them and simply ask them. You have to build a trust again. Otherwise, you have crying people in the toilet. Yellow ones. They hate there is there no fun in the office. They hate when they are so detailed, routine job. And they hate when their creative ideas aren't listened. So simply, what to do with them? Change the topic. <laughs> it's really working. I mean, I seriously experienced it as well. When someone came to me, hey, okay, forget this. What about the team building next week? And like, oh, yeah, team building, fine. Let's do it together and give them space. Give them space to solve problems. Great. Now you have all these colors and how to get all these colors to the meeting. Don't plan the meeting as I plan a pizza with my friends. Because what I do, I have amazing idea to make a pizza. After that, I invite a thousand people and because I'm a really, really bad cook, after that, I start to Google how to make a pizza. Do it the opposite way. At the beginning, write the email write their uh, subject, pizza, <laughs> then put their everything into email or important information. And after that, put their people who should come. Make it as a Jeff Bezos rule. Hold only meetings where two pizza can feed whole group. 
if you have more people on the meeting, then it's wedding, and on the wedding, you cannot solve anything. So how to do that? At the beginning, be yellow. Good morning, I would like to invite specifically you to the meeting. After that, please prepare, be red, be specific. After that, result of this meeting, be blue. Result of this meeting is sign of document. Result of this meeting is the document with priorities for the next decade. This completely changed my approach to the meetings. Participants will be, I put their all names and their roles. People on the meeting can ask other people, and after the meeting, people can get them, people get, get in touch with them uh, during, uh, via email. And again, ended up yellow again. Thank you. Time, support, respect. Please remember these three magical words. Time, support, respect. Okay, now you say, okay, Petra, 30 minutes, amazing 30 minutes, but I don't know who is sitting in front of me. If it's blue or red or, or green or what. I will tell you, do it again as Jeff Bezos. Do it again as I do it with pizza. If I get the pizza, I eat it all. So at the beginning, when you have a person in front of you, face-to-face -face meeting, start with the blue section. Describe it with facts. After that, move it to the green section. Listen, 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 and ask. After that, move it to the yellow section. Do you have any ideas how to solve the problem? And at the very end, move to the red section. Tasks, deadlines, agreement, and action. Be sure that you eat it all. So you invite the person, start describing, describing the, the situation, listening, what do you suggest, and then tasks. Yuppie. Again, lights on, please. Thank you. I want you right now make pairs, always two people together. Okay, this will be like 10 minutes uh, tasks, so don't be like, yeah, I will just sit here and she will not notice. I will notice. So make pairs always. And right now, please raise your hand. Who will be a scrum master? After that, you will switch. So just right now, I need some raised hands as scrum master. Thank you. In the last row, there is a real active pair. Raise your hand with scrum master. You will switch after that. So it doesn't really matter with right now. Just, just make it one. Scrum master. I need one scrum master and one team member. What will happen right now? A scrum master will invite a team member to a meeting because there is some problem with this team member and the scrum master wants to solve the problem. I will right now give you the problem just in silence. Read it. Pink. Talk. Great. Good. What will happen right now? Remember the situation. Pink. And I have here amazing thing, which is bell. And I will give you... Shoop. Right now, 30 seconds. Scrum Master will prepare a blue section. A newbie will prepare a, a yellow section or green section. And after that, you will start. Right now, for 30 seconds, just think about it, about the arguments, about the, about the details. Think for 30 seconds about how you will approach this newbie and how I will approach a scrum master. <laughs> and 
and start a meeting. Officially invite the newbie to the face-to-face -face meeting to solve a problem. Let's start. And eat the whole pizza. Eat the whole pizza. Great. And now please switch. Please raise, so raise your hand. We will now be a Scrum Master. Right now, you will just switch. And here is your situation. and start. Invite a senior for a face-to-face -face meeting. Yes, question. If you didn't finish it, you can finish it later. Uh, when I was in London, there was really nice. There was one girl in the middle of the crowd. She was shouting, "I just do. I just want to do it on my own, you know." <laughs> I promise to you that you will know answers on these questions. So the first one. Who we'll probably report bugs in Jira, then call you, then hip chat you, multiply channels. Shout on me, which color? 
yellow. Then who is afraid to go into conflict? Green. And who fight like a lion? Exactly. Who becomes a micromanager? And who suffers a burnout? Green. Yes. And minor bugs forever? Blue. Blue. Blue is not bad. Blue is just different. <laughs> now I am yellow. Yeah, I just you know, uh, blue and yellow. They are the biggest enemies, but as well the biggest teachers. This is why I have here right now this. You will find this color for call to action everywhere on the tables when you leave the room. Just pick two of them and put there on the bench or somewhere on the t-shirt. And I want you to uh, see other people in the room and think, aha, so you are green, so maybe you communicate differently than I do, and talk to them. Right now, I want you, all blue ones, please stand up, blue ones. Don't tell me we don't have any blue ones in this big room, awesome. Keep standing up. Keep standing up, please. Great. I want all yellow ones, raise your hand. Great. Now please check the blue ones and the yellow ones checking. Blue ones, blue ones checking who has raised hands. You are the biggest teachers. Yellow ones, vision makers. Blue ones, details focused. Please find these people around you after my speech and discuss with them. You can sit down and you can put your hands down. Discuss with them your problem, because they will give you completely different point of view on your problem. Right now, red ones, please, stand up. Red ones. Standing red ones. And green ones, raise your hand. Green ones. Check again these people. Standing people checking the people with raised hands and, and the visa visa. Great. Sit down. If you should forget all what I have said, I have a dream. I have just one thing to think about after my speech. Don't communicate with people how you are used to communicate with yourself, how you are used to perceive information. Communicate with people how they are used to communicate with themselves. Thank you very much. Petra Boschkova. Petra, now, since you've tested us so many times, is it okay if I test you now? Uh-huh. Okay. You like a challenge, right? So I've made some notes during your speech, and then I, I mentioned those uh, notes, and I ass ass assigned some colors to those notes. Uh-huh. And so let's try and see whether you'll, you're going to guess correctly, and maybe this will also show my level of understanding of what you said. So what color am I if I say you had a typo in your presentation. Blue. Correct? <laughs> what if I say, you need to come again here next year? Yellow. I said red. Oh. And what if I say, great audience, they all loved you? That would be yellow, right? I said green. And what if I say, <laughs> and what if I say, let's have coffee later? <laughs> You yeah, well, are finally. Well, I'm just picking you up. Really. <laughs> Petra Boskova. <laughs> Thank you.